Hey guys, welcome to another video of New Zealand's biggest gap year where a couple of years ago, Robin and I did 365 days of 365 activities all around New Zealand. It was a pretty epic year. Um, but this day on this episode, I head to the Hamilton Gardens because Robin and I have been split up for once. Robin needs to go and collect the juicy camper van because our other camper van we were using to travel around New Zealand had broken down. Um, but in the meantime, we still wanted to give you an activity every single day. And today's activity was indeed the Hamilton Gardens. So at the end of this video, we'll go through the questions you guys had to ask about the gardens. For the first time in his life, he's done something nice and said, I'm going to take the juicy condo back to Auckland, Laura. You stay here and go to the Hamilton Gardens. I've tried to go three times already, but I think it, he just wants to get rid of me, really. It's got to be some sort of plan behind his plans. So anyway, he drops me off at the Hamilton Gardens. I'm heading up to the cafe because it's still chucking it down with rain. Get myself a classic Kiwi coffee, which is a flat white, which is just a latte, but they call it a flat white here. It stops raining, finally. The sun comes out for, for a split second and I'm like, holy shit, I'm packing up all the stuff as quick as I can. I need to get outside because who knows when the rain will come back. I'm running outside and I'm following the signs. There's signs everywhere for various parts of the garden. So I'm in some sort of central passage now and I have to choose which garden I want to go to first. Productive garden? Ooh, boring. Let's go to fantasy garden. I think I've been scammed here. It said it was the fantasy garden and now it says it's the tropical garden. I've heard a lot about these gardens. I've heard that they are award-winning. Robin says they are actually some of the best gardens he's ever seen. So I have high expectations. And so far so good. I go over a nice little blue wooden bridge and it's just, just the darnest little thing. Maybe I should just keep spinning until I stop. Surrealist garden? That sounds awesome. Oh. It's not open yet. Mm. Look at this. It's like Alice in Wonderland. These gardens are taking the piss out of me because I'm like falling down the rabbit hole right here and I can't find my way out. I think I'm going to go to the herb garden because I need to do a bit of grocery shopping. It's starting to rain again though, so it's actually raining a little bit harder now. I have found shelter, but I don't know how to get out of this garden. It is raining harder than ever and I'm like, oh no, what to do? So it's continuing to rain, but I really don't want to give up on the gardens. I could go back to the cafe and do some more work, but I feel like every two seconds the rain stops and there might be a window of opportunity to go and check out some more gardens. If I stand here, I mean, if I sit here, maybe the rain will stop and I can go see something. Good things come to those who wait. It stopped raining. I have a window of opportunity. I go see the Maori Gardens, which sort of replicates an old par site. And a par site is a fortified area the Maori used to live in. I'm in some sort of Maori maze now. There's like um, all sorts of carvings there and some strange like bumps in the, in the grass. I don't really know what they're meant to be. 
I progress onto the next stage of the garden journey, I am being drawn towards the Tudor Gardens. It has like a nice little castle in the corner, a load of little hedge things going on, some statues with coats of arms and all like glory to England and everything like that. So I've made it to the Italian gardens, which are meant to be the best gardens here. Let's see what all the fuss is about. And then I see through the arch, there is a water fountain and Italian splendor awaiting me. Oh, I've made it to the Italian garden. It looks nice. I really want to film. It's raining. Everything is so symmetrical in the garden, it's impossible to take a picture that looks crap. I mean, just look at the pictures on the blog and you'll see they look amazing. Out of no talent of my own, I am crap at taking photos, but the Italian gardens do all the work for you. At the back of the Italian gardens is like a balcony, you can go out there and just like hang over the balcony and look at the mighty Waikato River flowing outside. You've got New Zealand on one side, you've got Italy on the other side. It's like, I'm doing some major country hopping today. And the country hopping doesn't stop because next is the Indian garden. To be fair, it looks it's almost the same setup as the Italian garden, except for the water feature is more Indian and the plants are maybe more Indian, but it's still like a symmetrical thing with a balcony at the end with a little water feature there. Then I walk out and I see Japan. There's a Japanese contemplation garden, it's called. It's got some decking with a little shelter, like a little Japanese hut. It looks over a pond with some blossom trees in there and um, some ducks on a rock. I don't know if ducks are a big thing in Japan. I've never been to Japan. Now I need to go back into Hamilton, back to the panel beaters where I'm going to be meeting Robin. Because I had so much coffee at the cafe, I am in serious need of a pee. I am desperate to go to the loo. I really need a wee. I really need a wee. I had too much coffee at the cafe. I'm in a bit of predicament right now because I need to pee and I'm lost in the Hamilton garden. Maybe I can convince the gardeners that peeing on the plants is a good fertiliser. I need a wee, I need a wee, I need a wee. I don't want to give up. Yeah! Even the toilets are like a garden. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that slightly different rendition of that New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year episode, mainly just featuring myself. Um, I hope it wasn't too cringy, but anyway, we had some questions about the Hamilton Gardens. Um, we got one from Joe asking, when is the best time to go to the Hamilton Gardens? Um, well, I would say that maybe um, spring would be a really good time to visit the Hamilton Gardens, for obvious reasons being that um, that the most of the flowers will be uh, blossoming and blooming during that time. But there's also a festival um, that they do ha um, have there during the springtime. I think they have a tulip festival there as well. So yeah, that's usually when there's a little bit more extra going on there at the Hamilton Gardens. But, you know, even on a rainy day like it was then, it was still pretty enjoyable to go and check out the gardens. There's something to see there all year round. Um, so yeah, basically any time's a, re a good time really. Um, we also got a comment from unofficial bucket list family saying very cool I like your filming style well thank you bucket list family and then we also got a, um, a 
just a comment from um, It's Ya Boy saying the Surrealist Gardens are now open. So yeah, when during the during a couple of years ago when we did this video, we noticed that some of the gardens there was extensions being added to them, but they weren't all open. But yeah, now the gardens will look a little bit different to when we did um, this video. There'll be basically more to see, so it'll be really cool to go check that out now and see how it's changed. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you do have any questions of your own, you can put them in the comment section of this video and we can answer them for you. But the best place to come and ask your questions is during our live Q&A session, which we do every single Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time. It's right here on YouTube and we go through everyone's questions in the live chat. Um, alternatively, you can go to nzpocketguide.com, which is New Zealand's largest travel guide and it's absolutely free to to use literally has thousands of articles about traveling in New Zealand so I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for there um, and yeah that's about it for this episode and check us out for the next episode in a few days time where we'll go through another day of New Zealand's biggest gap year see you then